Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's a no glue box. Well, there's a little bit of glue going on with this part here, but it's a no glue box and I'm sharing it with this um, metallic acetate, mercury acetate, sorry, that I've got around it and it will hold it closed. I'm not sure that I love it, so I'm going to make a, a version of it without this panel. So yeah i'm not convinced i love it it's okay it doesn't slide off actually i haven't even glued it it will just sit around it and be totally separate and it does actually hold the bag closed but i yeah i'm i'm i don't know if i love it or not but whoops let's throw it around anyway it's a bag that just opens i've got a magnet to close it it folds completely flat and I kind of think I prefer it almost like that. It's a bit more like a clutch bag, but let me show you how to make it. So you need a piece of paper that's 12 by 12 inches. And Hydrangea Hill is just divine. It's absolutely beautiful. 12 by 12 inches. If you work in metric, trim yours down to 30 by 30 centimeters. And on the first side, uh, where's my, <laughs> where's my stylus? There it is. On the first side, score it at five inches and seven inches, which in metric is 12 and a half and 17 and a half, and then turn it around and score it at two inches and 10 inches, which is five and 25 centimeters. Such an easy bag to make. I've, I've made many variations of this, but the paper is just beautiful. And I didn't want to take away from the paper. My crafting history is very much as a paper girl. I wasn't really, I wasn't a stamper at all until I joined Stampin' Up. In fact, I didn't own any stamps. So my instinct will take me back to paper always. Right, so to make this, what we need to do is create a diagonal line that goes from this point up, but obviously there is no point that you stop. So you fold it over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this corner here and line it up to this side here so you push your finger in find the corner point and just press down like that okay and you fold it over and you do the same again so you're you're looking for that point super easy so bring it round the whole family obviously because, you know, lockdown in the UK. The entire family is in the house and I have told everybody I'm filming and they're very good, but then they get a little bit animated. Right, so that really is my bag done. It's simple, it's lovely, it's charming, but I wanted to have a little extra closure over the top. So I've got a panel of Gorgeous great cardstock, three by eight inches, seven and a half by 20 centimeters, and you're just scoring it straight down the middle part here. Just like that. And give it a good burnish. And then decide which you want as your front. I want that as my front. So I'm gonna get some glue, liquid glue, because I want wibble room. And you're sticking this to the back. And like I said, I want that little bit of wibble room just to make sure it's all nicely lined up. So I'm just gonna leave that there for a second. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that's nice and dry. So we're gonna fold this round and that's gonna come over. And like I said, this will hold it shut. Well, it did on my original, so I hope it's going to do the same. So it will actually hold it shut. And that's because you've enforced score lines and acetate doesn't want to bend out. So you could do that. Or as I did with this one, I used tiny little magnets, neodymium magnets, eight millimeter by one millimeter. You can get them from Amazon and eBay very, very easily. They're very strong. They want to jump together. Amazon, eBay, pence. You're looking at sort of £2.50 for maybe 50 of them. 
but it's up to you how you close it but yeah that's all right that's not bad okay right so the decoration on this is super simple i actually die cut the patterned paper and i used my hydrangea dies which is this long one and this whoopsie this one here but like i said i actually did the pattern paper itself um yeah there you go you can see the reverse i'm going to do cardstock this time because i just fancy doing cardstock i love my little mini cut and emboss just darling right so i want to that's a bit wide so that there and am i going to fit that on there yeah we'll make it fit and then clear plate over the top <laughs> i can hear oliver giggling i'm not sure i do have a directional microphone that's right above my head but it's, it's quite loud sunday afternoon filming will do that maybe i ought to film when he's in lessons no less animated <laughs> it's great that they have teachers who engage he's nine he's coming up 10 in um april so just going to try and get some of those centers out now this here let me slowly focus you can lift if you have the patience each of these little petals up that they're going the wrong direction so they will all elevate i might do that for this one i didn't on my original I make it super 3d i could do that couldn't i This would be a good, if you were mass doing this on mass, this would be great to do in front of the TV. Maybe not with a paper piercer, given that I've just punctured my finger. Silly girl. But, yeah, that's, or maybe the dye brush. I wonder if that would do this. I don't know, but elevate them all. Let me just do a, a few more. very cute right oh, I thought they were all going to come off sort of facing down but they're not there we go oh they've all gone a bit static haven't they so I'm going to get a whole load of mini glue dots and start putting them on oh look they're going to be invisible on there aren't they oh I should have done a different color oh well we'll just have them facing down Let's do it this way, pick up speed a bit. And just, yeah. There's a discussion about lunch. Oh, that's when I ought to do my filming, when they're eating. <gasps> There's no talking then. Let's cluster these around. Stick the mini glue dots myself. I've got three more. Oops. Oh. <laughs> and they're all going to jump everywhere, aren't they? This last one, oh, I'm going to put there we go, some seal across the top and have it poking down there. And like I say, this oh, it's because it's popped over there. This does keep it closed. Who knew? Or, as I said, a couple of mini glue dots or velcro dots don't not mini glue dots. Um, Neodymium magnets. Don't give neodymium magnets to somebody who, to a child, you know, if this is going to go to a child or somebody who um, cannot be near magnets. But yeah, Velcro dots would work. Ribbon would work. 
oil. Mercury has to take like I've done. Anyway, I'm going to go and have my lunch if that's what they're having. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.